Hello and welcome to another installment of Jackie Robinson and the Montreal Royals 1946 season in review. On May 1st, Jackie played his first game in Montreal and he got a hero's welcome from the 16,133 fans at the Lormier Stadium on that day. He got cheered louder than any other player, even louder than Montreal-born shortstop Stan Breard. The Montreal Star tells us more about the kind of reception Jackie got. Quoting, Many came to watch Robinson in practice. What they saw pleased them, for one of the greatest athletes of this or any other era had all the mannerisms of a very good ball player. The paper also said that he was besieged by youthful admirers after the game. It was an hour before he, Jackie, could get away through a side door. John Wright was likewise cornered by countless autograph seekers. Unfortunately, Jackie couldn't duplicate the kind of performance he had delivered on opening day in Jersey City, going one for four with a run scored. He also got caught stealing. So the first contact between Jackie and his new fans was very positive. But what about the relationship between Jackie and his teammates? The papers are pretty mum on that topic. That's kind of surprising considering that one of the arguments used most to stave off integration was that white players, especially those from the South, would be hostile to black teammates. It was believed that some players would rather retire than have to play on a club that featured African Americans. Nothing of the sort happened with the Royals. The anti-Jackie sentiment seemed limited to one guy, as told by La Presse newspaper early on in the season. I quote, Only one player on the team doesn't seem to admire Jackie. Jackie. He's from the South and can't stand a man of color. Clay Hopper believes he'll have to admire Robinson as a player eventually. The identity of the player remained a mystery and there was no follow-up as to whether or not the player in question was indeed won over by Jackie. In the same article, it was written that when training camp began, Marvin Rackley, Clarence Grote and Lou Village couldn't stand hearing about Robinson, but that they soon became his biggest supporters. Now, Grote, an Ontario-born Mohawk Indian who had probably suffered discrimination in his life, and Village played only a handful of games with the club. But Rackley was a key figure on the 46 Royals. He hit first in the batting order, right before Jackie, for most of the season. If you watch the picture on the screen right now, that's the famous handshake Robinson exchanged with George Shuba after hitting a home run on opening day. And the man on the right, wearing number six, is Marvin Rackley. He appears to be waiting for something, possibly to shake Jackie's hand as well. There were no reports, at least not that I'm aware of, of how the other players reacted after that homer. But that picture seems to indicate that Rackley may have been the second man to shake Jackie's hand. And while we usually don't remember the second person to do things, if Rackley, a South Carolinian who couldn't stand having an African-American teammate just a few weeks earlier, was indeed ready to fraternize in public with Jackie on opening day, I think that would have been worth mentioning. But hey, we'll probably never know. Meanwhile, on May 8, Roy Campanella became the third African-American to play in a league affiliated with the majors in the 20th century when he took the field as a member of the Nashua Dodgers of the Class B New England League. And his debut was almost as sensational as Jackie's. He struck two singles, walked, and hit a home run that gave his team the win. So, the first Royals homestand of the season was a success. On the field, the club went 10-2. As well as in the stands, the team set a regular season attendance record on May 12th when 21,911 cranks showed up for a doubleheader. But a surprise awaited on May 14th when the second man of integration, John Wright, was optioned to a lower classification and replaced on the Royals roster by another African-American pitcher. We'll have much more on that in the next video. Thanks for listening and see you next time.